Kendall Milton, Broderick Jones, Jalen Carter. I want to tell you about those three guys and what you cannot wait to see about the three of them. Dean Leggy from Dog Post, making you a smarter Georgia fan. I'm going to go in reverse order. Jalen Carter, a guy that I saw play in Florida last fall. Just a physical presence for sure on the defensive side of the ball. And Carter's a guy that, you know, doesn't necessarily um, eat people up, but he makes a lot of plays, man. I mean, he's a guy that, um, you know, not only not only was he their high school punter, but he was, I mean, he really, he really got people, he got their attention uh, at these all-star games uh, over Christmas. And what he was doing was using his hands and his body, just dominating offensive linemen. Um, he was not as dominant when I saw him live in the rain uh, down there in uh, the Orlando area, but you could just see the potential from him. He's another defensive lineman that Georgia um, is just going to be able to roll in there. I mean, they've got what I would count as 14 legitimate defensive linemen heading into the 2020 season. No one of the, None of those guys are household names, but but Jalen may be a guy, along with Nolan Smith and Trayvon Walker, that you know their name in the future. This guy's an NFL guy, I would say almost for sure. He is quick, sudden, and he can make you pay if you make a mistake. Second guy we're going to talk about, Kendall Milton. He reminds me of some sort of combination of Derrick Henry and Eric Dickerson. He's like a he's not he's not as tall as Derrick was. He's kind of a smaller version, but the style is the same constantly moving he's faster than you think when you watch him play he he is a really good player he's just not talked about a lot I think because a lot of the drama this past year was you know Zach Evans and it looked like Georgia was going to sign Zach and then they didn't you know at the end of the day get him into school for a lot of different reasons Kendall Milton is a really good football player he's going to play a lot for the dogs this fall, he may be the number one or two, or certainly in the top three running back for Georgia. I mean, Kendall Milton is a guy that you definitely need to be excited about seeing. And then Broderick Jones. I mean, we met Broderick when he was, I think, a sophomore, something like that. The body is all there. The length. It's everything you want. You know, I think he's going to be a very good football player for Georgia. The question for Broderick is, you know, when he was playing at Lithonia, same county I grew up in, we played Lithonia all the time. He really was not challenged in high school. That that region he was in was not great. You know, he that's the question. He is still raw, but you're going to see I and mean, this is a guy that can step in and play quickly on the offensive line. He's not a guy like Carter and Milton who are going to be like, "Wow," right away because they're playing positions where you flash. Offensive lineman, that doesn't really happen. But this is a guy that is a special player you need to keep track of. Kendall Milton's going to be the guy that y'all notice the most because he's out there playing running back. But Carter and Broderick Jones, these are two long-term players. These are guys you need to keep your eye on this fall. Dean Leggy for Dog Post, making you a smarter Georgia fan. I want to make sure that you click on this 2020 playlist. We are getting closer and closer to the fall. And uh, it will be here before you know it. And those three players are key to it. So make sure you check out this playlist and we'll get you a little bit closer to the fall along the way.